In high school, year after year, I would cram my bejeebus off only for a test to forget it the following week. And this pattern continued until in college, I learned how to create maps of content inside Obsidian. Map of content is a summation of a bunch of related notes. Through learning to create course mocks in Obsidian, I not only remembered my learnings for longer, but understood them at a deeper level. And you can do the same by following my simple four-step mock creation process that I am going to talk about in this video. But firstly, why should we even create mocks for our classes? Well, mocks organize systems reduce the need for folders and tags. Instead, you can use links as your primary organization feature. Mocks allow you to see the relationship between seemingly unrelated ideas. Mocks allow you to think bottom up and top down. When growing your concept notes, you can grow them from the mock note itself or the individual note level. Mocks allow you to think and link first and organize in other ways later once the disorganization becomes overwhelming. And finally, mocks allow you to grow your notes while staying in flow. Starting from the mock as a foundation, you can dive into any note grow it until you don't know what to do, and then return to the mock view to jump in and grow another note. In effect, you can note make for hours longer. So now that you know why you should create mocks, let's go through the four simple steps. Create a course mock note, take conceptual lecture notes during class, process your conceptual lecture notes after class, and then flesh out your course mock note. Firstly, at the beginning of a semester, I create a course mock to serve as my home base for the course. I fill out the course mock with all the lecture topics we'll go through during the semester, separated by units, and that's it. Here's an example of my course mock for my introduction to my personality class. As you can see, uh, the top of the note has some YAML metadata, including some information on the course, like what year I'm taking it, semester, professor, etc. It also includes an uptick to my courses, which is a mock for all courses I'm taking during a particular semester. As you can see, it's right here. Isn't that cool? You could create this sort of thing for any course you're taking, whether history, linear algebra, or introduction to Python. Mapping out the lectures in your course mock clarifies what you'll be learning and how it all connects. Plus, it allows you to feel like Lewis and Clark, which is uh, what really matters at the end of the day, right? <laughs> During any given class, you open up your course mock note and you create a new CLN out of the specific lecture for the day. Here's the template and an example of me using it on one of my personality lectures. So as you can see, you have the status right here, the tags, the links, and then a bit of a summary, some notes, what course it's related. Um, yeah, and here it is filled out. During class, you can take notes any way you like, but I highly recommend you take conceptual lecture notes which I talk about how to do inside of my conceptual lecture note-taking video you can watch up above. Then you process your conceptual lecture notes after class. Usually in the data week, I'll go in and I'll look at all the notes that are tagged with this little red tag right here. And this tag is aptly named to highlight lecture notes that need processing. Processing involves going through the lecture note, tidying it up, summarizing the main takeaways at the top, and if you didn't during the lecture, and the most importantly, creating concept notes. Creating concept notes and connecting them to other notes is where you go from being child Goku to Super Saiyan Goku. Concept notes are notes where one idea forms the emphasis of the note, and the other ideas are background and contextual for supporting evidence. This means they can be quite large and have many ideas. They work off one fundamental idea. If you take nothing else from this video, take this. There are no rigid disciplines in the universe only concepts. All disciplines, biology, neuroanatomy, behavioral statistics, American history, etc. They're just highly related concepts linked together into a coherent and more easily digestible form. It's through linking these highly related concepts from class to class, from semester to semester, that your knowledge base starts to grow, becoming more than the sum of its individual parts. Your knowledge base compounds over time. Here's what one of my lecture notes from my psychology class on making better decision looks like after processing. I'm just gonna scroll through it. Look at that boy, so nice. 
Last step is to flesh out your course mock note at times when you want to develop a comprehensive connected understanding of the lecture and class content. This is usually in the weeks before tests or at the end of the semester. And during these times, I'll go into my course mock note and try and create a map out of the CLNs and higher level concept notes I've made so far. Importantly, I include concept notes from other classes if they're relevant. You need to see knowledge as connected. Also, don't worry about getting messed up which CLNs come from which class, because if you put a tag for the class at the top of the note, you won't mistake them. You can create this map of content in whatever format you please, bullet point, paragraph format, heck, create it in crayons, and then upload a photo. That might not be the most effective, but you'll find you can come away with a much deeper understanding of how all the course's parts fit together into a coherent whole. Uh, here's an example of my social psychology course mock after the semester. Just look at that big boy. Oh my God, I, I can tell you, I developed such a better understanding when I went through and did this all, it was incredible. This mock connects to some of my notes on behavioral neuroscience, statistics, research methods, and my outside learnings. It's become something much more than the original content of the course. Using this process, just four steps, I'm building a unique interconnected body of knowledge Instead of going from semester to semester with a clean slate, having forgotten everything from the previous year, my knowledge base scales from class to class, semester to semester. I wake up every day with a wonder and curiosity about what new notes and connections I will make. If you wanna get the templates I mentioned in this blog post and more information on how to use Obsidian for school, check out my and fellow Obsidian creator, John Maverick's flagship course, Obsidian University, your secret weapon at school. In it, you'll learn how to find enjoyment in learning and studying by breaking out of the cookie cutter mindset. You'll flesh out a systemized process for taking notes on clash lectures and outside learnings. You'll create a personal, unique knowledge base inside Obsidian that scales across classes and semesters. You'll learn how to study using your Obsidian notes, and you'll gain access to a community discord with fellow students looking to make the same transformation. Join the new student era today by checking out the course in the description below.